hi guys welcome back to my channel um the video that you are about to see me film in my bath sorry my dog's in here and he's trying to get into all of my products that i have out um that you are about to see me film in my bathroom is a quick little tutorial on how to fake a wing liner as you can see right there and also um even though some of my lipstick is off because i've been drinking coffee Um, how to fake big plump lips because you know you gotta fake it till you make it in this world um, but yeah I'm not gonna make this intro super long as I tend to do because I ramble sometimes but I hope you guys enjoy this um, I'm gonna try to keep this video shorter so these are just my tips I use to do both really well and not spend forever and ever and ever on either one. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. And yes, I'm fully aware that I look crazy. So yeah, as I explained in the intro, um, we're just going to be doing less harsh of a liner look. So a lot of times I want to wear liner, but I don't want it to be um, black liner and I don't want it to be just like so like harsh. Um, so I will opt for a brown liner. Um, and I actually can't find my favorite one, which is by ColourPop, which makes me shy. But we're just gonna go with um, L'Oreal. And this one is actually good. It has really great um, stay time. And then we're gonna top it off with um, the dark brown color in this NARS palette. This NARS palette is uh, balls. This is the Skin Deep palette. This was, um, this is pricey. This was um, a more expensive um, purchase, but really, really worth it. You can use it for so many different things. So the reason that I Put a little bit of tape and if you're ever going to um, use like a, a tape or an adhesive product anywhere on your face or your eye area um, just make sure to put it on your hand a couple of times and take it off put it back on just so it's not so sticky is because I'm using a powder on top of the liner and I don't want it to um, uh, I don't want to have fallout I still want the powder to give off a very um, clean effect so what we're going to do, I've already um, put some concealer on my lid. I've already um, set that with a powder. So what I'm first going to do is pause this because I forgot to get my crease brush and then we'll be right back. Um, and then I also am just an FYI filming on my iPhone 11 Pro Max today. I wanted to try it out um, just to see how the quality of video is. Um, trying to think of the model camera I use. I will link that down below. So obviously my camera um, was a you know super expensive purchase that I bought um, for my content um, and that was an investment I made so I knew that that was going to put out really good quality video. Um, but I wanted to see how my iPhone performs and what kind of quality video that can put out for me as far as content is concerned. Um, 
so yeah so we're trying that out today and we're gonna see how the quality is so what I'm gonna go in with first is this lightest shade right here and I'm just going to kind of give my crease some depth I don't really need anything too crazy here gonna try to use the mirror but still face you guys at the same time but for this look I'm not gonna take it too deep onto my lid so for some of my looks um, I will take my crease color onto my lid sometimes it's intentional and then sometimes I just don't care if my crease color gets onto my lid I'm not picky if it's on my lid it's on my lid but for this look in particular I don't want my crease color too far down on my lid because I really want my liner to show especially because it's a softer brown so I'm being intentional with my crease color I'm keeping it in my crease and making sure that I'm leaving room for my liner to show for it to pop even though it's a neutral brown color I still want it to be able to come through so I'm going to go ahead and keep building up this crease color um, and then what I'm going to probably do is build it up even more with this um, more warm coppery shade so once I get these two colors built up I'll be back So you can see how those two colors just blended so nicely together. And I still have all that space in between. We're gonna take a pencil brush, just like that. Angled pencil brush, actually. I'm gonna tug a little bit. And we're just going to blend them out. Just color right there and set that with that shadow. If you guys hear that voice in the background, my house isn't haunted. I don't think, I mean, sometimes I think my house is haunted, but that's my son playing in his room, which is right next to mine. Pick up a little bit of this shimmer right there. Dust that off. And I'm going to place that right on top. Smudger brush, just so it's not so perfect. Smudge that out. Okay, so you guys can see like I smudge that out even more so it's not so defined and perfect. It looks just a little bit more messy. Okay, and then let's feel I swear this is still painful even though I stick it to my hand. Okay. And then that looks something like that. Okay. And there you are. Now we just have to recreate it on the other side. So perfect, so perfect. Okay, 
So I'm going to recreate this on the other side. Hopefully, fingers crossed, finish up my makeup and we'll be back to do a lip. I'm also going to be um, trying out this new brow contour um, product. So wish me luck with this. Maybe we'll do a video on this. Um, so yeah, I'll be back for lips. Okay, so we're at lipstick and also, believe it or not, I do have fake lashes on. Can you guys see that? These lashes played me, played me. They said natural and I was like, oh cute, natural lashes today. I don't want anything serious anyway. Let's throw these on. These ain't natural. These are non-existent. These should have been labeled non-existent lashes. Like, what? But I'm not gonna let it control my emotions. Leonidas, don't. Don't. Okay, anyway. We're gonna move on from the lashes because I'm upset and I really don't wanna talk about it anymore. And we're gonna move on to lining the lips for other lip products because I see some people putting on lipstick without lip liner and it makes me cringe. I don't know. I don't know how this happens, how people skip lip liner, but we need to line the lips before other lip products. Okay, so we're gonna do a slight overline, nothing serious. I don't do a crazy overline unless it's like, you know, a serious function going on, which I ain't got nothing serious going on. I mean, let's be real. Anyway, like, look at this liner. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So we line a little. Below there. Just a little below in the middle. And this is Morphe Sweet Tea, by the way. My dog is insane. And then as we come up, we're gonna get back into the natural lip line. You guys are getting up close and this is really a little too up close and personal. A little too up close and personal, especially since I have this major breakout on my face. But you know what, for the sake of YouTube, I'm gonna let it be what it is. And then as we get here, once again, go here and My hair or dog hair? I can't tell. All right. Now when you're at the top, again, like I've said, you only overline in the middle. So we're gonna do See how I've overdrawn in the middle and made my lip bigger? And then as I come 
down, I will go back into my natural lip. So overline in the middle. And then back down into your natural lip. And then it's always best to fill in your corners. That's my sun again. because then you don't have to be so precise with the lipstick in the corners because the corners of your mouth can get messy. Line down the middle, make sure your lips look plumper. Okay, now that we look crazy, is that something in my hair or is that gray hair? Okay, this is Honeycomb by Bite Beauty. I say it all the time. Bite Beauty has some of the best lipsticks. If you haven't tried them, try them. They're amazing. And the shade is spectacular. Always blot. If you're not a blotter, become a blotter. little bit of color pop in dream date right in the middle when I said a little bit I really meant a lot and then blot Okay, and that is that. So, a little video on how to properly line your eyes, fake it till you make it, tape is your best friend, and how to properly overline your lips a little bit. And all jokes aside, I mean, if you like to rock a lipstick or a lip product with no liner, you do you. Um, Makeup should be fun. There's no right or wrong way to do it, but using a lip liner is such a game changer. It helps you keep your lip products um, in line, apply them neater, um, and it just makes everything look much more neat and in place. Um, again, I mean, if you don't wanna do it, more power to you if you could properly apply your lipsticks um without lip liner then hey you do you but um i encourage you to try it um and if you have a really small upper lip like i do um then also try my little trick for um making your lips look more plump in the middle and overdrawing them a little bit as always thank you guys so much for watching um please subscribe to my channel it really helps me to grow and I love you guys so much. You are beautiful inside and out. And please remember, I saw an amazing quote the other day. You do not need makeup. Makeup needs you. You're already beautiful. Mwah. Bye.